Hey everybody, it's Busk with Busk Builds Decks, number 19, continuing our playthrough of Bellatro. And so after our previous video, we finished off the purple stake within the yellow deck. After that rousing and arousing victory, if you will, uh, we're going to continue on closing out some of these smaller stake runs. And so today uh, we're going to be doing battle with the Do ghost deck on the red stake. Uh, if you're not familiar with the ghost deck, spectral cards may appear within the shop and then you get the hex card at the start. The hex allows you to add polychrome to a joker but you destroy all of the other ones and so really incentivized to find a good and strong joker early so let's dive on in see what turns up see if we can't get a nice little run here and so what do we got after defeating the boss blind get 15 gold happy enough with that one uh the shop has an uncommon joker is a little less appealing but i would understand if you want to skip it and then diamonds are debuffed is a pretty reasonable uh finishing boss and so let's battle with the big blind here i i could see a little bit of argument for trying to spike the uncommon joker and then take that uncommon joker into the into the hex but uh, i think that i would rather just kind of play through the earlier rounds here and so we do have a four flush i'm still just going to discard everything and look for a little bit of a bigger hand we're pretty close to this either uh, ace is full of kings or uh, ace to ten straight a little bit better at closing out the round if you spike one of those we missed a little whoopsies a little bit of whoopsies, you know. We'll still play this two pair, though. Sometimes you you, you shoot your shot and just miss. <laughs> All right. So how close are we to finishing this off? We've got four hearts now. I guess we'll chase that one down. We'll play the singular hand here. Uh, see if we can't spike a heart to get the flush and then maybe finish off with just whatever's left. Well... We found the heart, but we also picked up the the full house. The full house is going to give us the best way to uh, maximize the face cards we have in our hand. And so some nerd could have done the math there, but I'm pretty certain that uh, the full house with the three queens is enough to be better than the flush. Nerd. <laughs> some nerd out there doing their math, huh? You got to talk trash about the nerds doing their math just because we aren't any good at it. And so <laughs> that's, uh, that's, how, that's how you deal with things you aren't good at, huh? You just make fun of it. All right. But what are we going to do here? Not the greatest collection of jokers. I'm fine to go ahead and pick up the greedy joker. This is a reasonable uh, early game one. I, I don't remember if diamonds were debuffed on the next boss, though. Was it diamonds or hearts that were debuffed on the next boss? Ugh. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty certain it was diamonds. Huh. That's kind of crappy. All right, let's open the Arcana pack then. Maybe we'll find something in here. Ooh. Just find a legendary Joker, huh? That's the way to do it. That's the way to bring the thunder out here. All right, what do we got? No, oh, this is not an... What is Boss blinds don't work? Okay. I, I guess we can't complain too much about that. And it was diamonds that were debuffed. Okay, we'll go ahead and hex up the legendary. Let's see what we can do. So what do we got? The makings of a big hand up here. See if we can't hit that big full house. We hit a big straight if we want to play that. We got king, queen, jack, ten, nine. Reasonable enough. I don't think we needed to search for the ace high. Disable the boss blind. All right. I, I've had this thing before. I, I don't feel like I've ever been really impressed by it, but it, it makes it feel like, I, I don't know, the run should just be on kind of easy mode, right? Uh, every time I've had access to it, like when I've spiked the, the legendary joker, the Chikot, Chikot, whatever the fuck that word is, uh, I, I feel like my deck was already just good enough to not need it. And so I never took it. But it is kind of interesting seeing it pop up at the very beginning and then just knowing throughout the entirety of the run you don't have to worry about anything. and have to be like, oh man, I'm up against the needle and only get one hand. And so maybe that's kind of neat. So what do we got here? Uh, Ouija? Is that how you play that? Ouija? That's like a Ouija board? Is that right? God, there's so many... <laughs> there's just so many words I don't know how to say good. Oh well. So I, I think this is fine. You convert all hands, uh, or convert all cards in hand to a single rank. Let's go ahead and snatch that one up. Then we'll open up the Arcana pack. 
go ahead and just convert everything within here. And what's in this Wheel of Fortune? Bonus cards and tarot cards? All right. Let's see. Get ourselves in route to just trying to play a uh, play a big, uh, like, you know, good, me, my kids. We could uh, reasonably have ourselves out here just trying to hit, like, five flushes or something. And so we'll see if anything comes out of that. But we'll spend the bonus cards here. Load up two of the kings. I just picked diamonds. It uh, seems like you would kind of want the same suit here. And we can move forward. All right, not real interested in the gold card. So what do we have here? The old handy tag, bringing a little pleasure to your day. Not something that we particularly need here for five gold. The Mega Arcana pack I'll maybe open up. And then, of course, the boss we don't really care about, right? It's just a 1600 chip round. So let's see what we can do. We're going to just try and dig up kings. It looks like an easy kings full of jacks. Or I guess we'll hit it the, the backwards way. The jacks full of kings. Score's the same. Okay, I mean, I, I'm curious what hand you really want to be going for in this kind of run. Like, it's pretty easy to, like, chase down three of a kinds with all of these kings. Uh, I, I don't think you want to go after four of a kinds. I mean, we had one turn up here. Uh, just all a matter of, I guess, what turns up. Typically, playing in the mindset that you want to pick up the jokers that bonus pairs, since bear, pairs are easy to hit. Pairs are a part of things like three of a kind. That makes kind of sense, but I guess you could kind of, you know, amp it up just a little bit and shoot for three of a kinds. Hmm. Interesting stuff. So there is the pair upgrade. I'm not, I'm not entirely certain we even need it. I mean, we have, what, 16 kings in our deck? <laughs> what is that? 12 kings. 12 kings. So just under 25% of our deck is kings. Hmm. I'm leaning towards taking the star. Uh, I do kind of like that idea of uh, just trying to diamond out as much as we can. I guess we'll pick up the discards as well. We did lose a card in hand with the uh, with the the thing that gave us all the kings, and so having a little bit of extra help there doesn't hurt. Let's go for it. Let's just go for kings and diamonds. See what happens. So no kings turn up. Kind of a bummer. So what are we going to do with this? This is just like the, the actual worst. I guess we make two queens. And then... Hmm. Hang on. How about we go about this? We can still make diamonds, right? Let's just go ahead and turn these hearts to diamonds. And then I'm going to use the thing that gives you two random tarot cards. And then see if we can't do something with this. Make bonus cards and make a lucky card. Okay. So, I mean... The thing that I'm kind of eyeballing is we do have, like... We can make the queen lucky. And then we can, say, convert the three into the lucky queen. Gives us a little bit more uh, both of both diamonds and big face cards. Otherwise, otherwise, these cards all kind of suck. And then we'll save the bonus cards for some of the kings, I think. All right. So lucky. I know the lucky is covered up. We also have the, the Hierophant in hand for the two bonus cards. And now we're going to convert this three to the queen using death. All right. So we got a bunch of diamonds and a bunch of kings upgrading to face cards. Gives us a, gives us a little bit of direction here. Discard something like that. We'll either find some kings or we'll find some diamonds. Sure. Come on, Pepper. You want to hang out? It's been a while since you've been in the internet movies. Just over here meowing at me. Come on, cat. Uh, you were so dumb. This is not... <laughs> this, 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 this cat is not well known for her intelligence. Come here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Say what up, world. How you doing, internet? Pepper, always glad to be here. She's usually good to be in the video. She's usually hanging out back here. If you ever see the blurry parts to where uh, there's a little black blob back there, it's typically her. <laughs> so it's not It's not like she's uh, she's always gone. She's typically hanging out in the back. All right, but what can we do here? Did we get up to, we only have four kings? I, I assume that's going to be enough. 
planning on getting this blur out of here soon. Uh, you, you've heard me going on over the course of the past few videos about doing drywall in the basement. I'm, I'm very close to being done uh, with the basement. Should, well, <laughs> very, very close to being done uh, as a kind of home DIYer is a, is a relative term. Uh, I think if a professional would have been able to finish the basement stuff in, in a matter of a month. I've, I've been going at it for almost six now, <laughs> but we're, we're getting close. And then uh, once uh, I get moved down there, I plan on taking all that, taking the blur off and having just random stuff back there. But nonetheless, moving forward, what do we got here? The the Mad Joker, it's kind of interesting how bad this is, right? It's pretty hard to hit four of a kind, and there's a lot easier ways to hit plus 20 malt. But, I mean, this is a deck that's got a pretty realistic chance of hitting four of a kind. The only bummer for me in taking the Mad Joker here is it doesn't... Um, uh, like really suit our economy. Like I'm kind of leaning towards taking the scary face. We're going to most certainly, regardless of how this turns out, if we're chasing down the diamond flushes or if we're chasing down full houses and four of a kinds, we're going to be playing a ton of face cards. And so this does a pretty good job of just being the chip card we need for our jokers, right? So we, we always hit like at a minimum 90 and more likely we'll be hitting about 120 chips off of this thing. And so I'm pretty happy to go ahead and pick it up. But yeah, I, I think we leave the Mad Joker at home. It's just, there's not going to be a ton of difference between hitting like 15 malt commonly and 20 malt on a high roll. And so um, I, I think we can just let that go. I'm a little interested in overstock, but again, I want to uh, I, I want to get up to the interest. All right, so here, uh, the three hand size for the next round, not really worried about. Do want to open the Spectral Pack, though. And then the boss, of course, doesn't matter. Very, very, very easy to figure that out, what we're going to do against the boss. There's nothing. Okay, so we'll drop four of a kind. How much does this even score? Uh, we're going to get that 120 bonus chip with it as well. It's like the worst four of a kind that we can make. 2300. Okay. So it needs, it needs a little bit of work. It needs some upgrades. So here, I'm not going to go for the straight... Just gonna go for more kings or diamonds. It's like the, we're getting close to both. We have diamonds in on this one. So this is what I mean. This is probably like the worst collection of face cards we'll be playing. Like three face cards within a flush. So the 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 scary face is still quite good in that space. So at this point, you know, we would like to have a, a real plus malt card and x2 and x3 and then we just need a couple of flat malt cards and we'll be good to go in terms of these jokers so misprint is fine uh, i'm not opposed to taking misprint it's re pretty reasonable uh, throughout the course of the mid game here as well uh, we'll we'll replace it eventually but it's a very good early to mid game joker otherwise it's a very expensive mega pack or mega arcana pack i think we'll let that one go so we're going to skip See what turns up in the spectral. What's this? Create two copies of one card in hand. It's too bad our king isn't upgraded. Well, we can bonus upgrade onto the king if we want. And then create a rare joker, set the money to zero. I'm not entirely opposed to, but it's just like so many of the jokers. Uh, like if, if you think of like magic in terms of mythic card, there's some mythic cards that are just very clearly like casual. Right? On the one side, you have a lot of mythics. That's where the planeswalkers typically live, and some of them will be very geared towards constructed. But then there's also just like this random, like super casual bullshit. And that's what it feels like when the rare jokers come up. And so it's like, I'm fine to skip a blind and have a rare joker come up, but I don't think I'm quite willing to give up all of our gold to go for that. And so let's do go ahead and bonus up this king, and then we'll copy the king, uh, put two more copies of him into the deck, right? Yeah. Great, two copies of one selected card in your hand. And so get two more. It's a diamond, it's a king, and it's got the bonus attached to it. Feels like a, a pretty good upgrade for the deck. All right. I'm not certain what you should be doing at this point. It's like, do, do you really want to push forward and shoot for the five of a kind? I don't know. I don't know. I just want to come out and play these lucky, we'll play the lucky queens, do some wheel of fortuning, <laughs> the, the the things that are meant to be done within the game, you know. All right, well, let's shoot for this flush at this point. 
There it is. There's the lucky cards coming through. I missed what the malt was on the last one. We got 11 out of the misprint, and then that gets one and a half. So uh, I was expecting more points out of the four of a kind. It feels like we only hit 2K, so we might have zeroed on the misprint or something. All right, what do we got here, though? I'm usually okay with hallucination. This is a bunch of stuff that I'm uh, pretty reasonably happy to go ahead and pick up. And so let's actually kick off with the Arcana pack. If we find the Hermit uh, and double our money, we're really kind of off to the races. Didn't turn up. I'm happy enough with the Chariot. Convert left to right is fine, but, man, we've really missed out. We've got the shitty kings within here. Wheel of Fortune, LOL. And then I have access to the Hanged Man. I think I would prefer to just drop the steel card, but I'm, uh, I don't like our options here. Our 10 is already kind of upgraded. I guess overriding bonus on the 10 isn't that bad. But I, I think I'm just a little bit more interested in clearing some of these useless cards out of our deck. It, it, like we're trying to kind of shoot high in terms of what, what hands we can make. And so those little advantages will hopefully help. What do we got here? These are both kind of crappy. We're never going to use Odd Todd. So we'll pick up Supernova. It's not great here. It's going to be in the spot to where he has like plus four malt to a flush and plus four malt to a four of a kind, right? What do we have? Five four of a kinds and three flushes. And we're never going to build up big enough for this to really work. But uh, there, there's no reason to just take no jokers here. And then the hallucination is fine. Could have taken the hallucination before we took the... Uh, the tarot card uh, so we would have had a chance at another tarot but uh, I don't I don't know how that uh, that mathematically works out but here both of these are going to be skips three gold for the garbage tag is garbage two common jokers I don't really want so let's see what we can do now I guess we can come in and play to a flush if we get there found one See how much that gives us. Easy. Definitely clearing out now that we're getting a little bit of flat malt tying into that multiplier. Okay, good stuff. So what do we got here? Purple seal to a card in your hand. Not bad. I'm not opposed to it. Random joker don't want. What's those playing cards could turn in the shop? This feels like... Uh, I, I can't decide which one feels worse, if it's the playing cards thing or the rerolls thing. Like, I I haven't decided if I just feel worse about... Or, or if I haven't decided, like, good reroll strategy. Because I certainly feel like that's a space to where I don't do it enough. And, like, if you think of a game like Team Fight Tactics, that took a, a long time for people to figure out that just going max economy every game isn't necessarily the best strategy. And so now things are kind of broken down between like a hyper roll strategy to where you roll away all of your money very early in the game, a kind of standard strategy to where you, uh, uh, you do like tie into that max economy and then more kind of like hyper roll or like big reroll strategies to where you might hit level seven and then just roll away all of your money looking to hit a uh, three star, um, trips and stuff and so like i feel like with the rerolls i am giving them a, a kind of bad run for the money i haven't really figured out how to use them in this game effectively yet but having like a, a random six just show up in the shop ultimately feels super super shitty and so it doesn't feel like the the times to where you get that that red sealed ace with a with a multiplier attached to it make up for the times to where your shop has five of spades <laughs> and so i just think this thing's garbage but nonetheless, let's take this purple seal. We'll make some usage out of it and then try and keep picking up a bit of that money. All right. Let's actually put it on the eight. I was thinking about putting it on the two because that's the one we always want to discard. But uh, there, there's a reasonable chance that we just take the twos out of our deck. Cool. We hit the hermit to, uh, to double our money. We'll use that after the round. Or would we rather do it now? I guess if we use it now, we would get an extra two gold. But if we wait till the end of the round, we'll get an extra six gold. So let's just wait on that. And I 
I see all of these kings. I don't think I've unlocked the uh, the five flush yet, and so let's let's see what happens. We've still got all of these discards. I don't know how many kings we have left in our deck in terms of trying to hit uh, king of diamonds all across the board. No, I didn't hit it there. We'll just play the five of a kind. But I think that's one of the things you get to unlock if you hit the... Uh, there's the five flushed where you have the five of a kind with a flush. So five of the same suit, uh, five of the same card. And then there's also a flush five to where if you have a full house, all of the same suit. I think those both go and unlock additional jokers. So it seems like this is probably the run for that kind of thing to turn up. But all right, we got the hermit up top. See if any more Terrets turn up. Time to just start cracking packs. I don't want any of these Jokers. The Stone card uh, doesn't seem like well-suited for what we're doing. We just want uh, King of Diamonds is the only thing we want in our deck. I will accept just flat Kings, right? Just a King turning up I'm pretty okay with. Uh, preferably it would have been a King of Diamonds or a King with a stat line to it, but I think that's okay. Now what do we got in here? This is the big point to where I'm not certain to what we should be doing. Do we just want to go big? <laughs> we just want to go big with the with the Planet X and the Five of a Kinds? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if we can't put a put a nice number up on that scoreboard. Okay, and then into 12k. These bosses are such a joke with this legendary. Where are we at? There's a five of a kind kings. I won't. I will keep you here all day with these hands that are kind of far away. When we have the like four king of diamonds, it feels kind of compelling to re-roll a bit and see if we can't uh, hit that that five flush. But at this stage, we'll just push forward a little bit. All right, good deal. What do we got? Two pair, don't care about. Diamond suit thing, don't want. Let's crack these packs, see what turns up. Just a normal king, fine. Don't want this other stuff. Don't even really want that normal king, but just shooting for five other kinds. It feels kind of important to pick up. Good jack with the foil attached, but we don't need that. Alright, next round. Missed all the tarot cards in there as well. So the hand size we'll, we'll, we'll do battle with. I'm fine to pick up the foil like i don't want supernova i don't want hallucination and then we do want to replace misprint and so we do have to be a little cautious here i know we're kind of kind of uh throwing caution to the wind and just pushing forward with this uh since we are just kind of blasting through the mid game but i i think we need to you know at least keep in mind that these jokers need upgraded all right let's go for the kings we look pretty far away from the flush Five of a kind turn up. Cool. Yeah, the 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 supernova is a fantastic joker if you're trying to play towards high cards, right? Or trying to play towards pairs. The the kind of hand that in the mid game you have to play two and three times to finish off the round. Just getting one malt. Even if we get what do we have like like one blind we want to play here and then six, seven, and eight. So at the most we have like access to nine opportunities to to level up supernova if we just play our five of a kind and win this feels like it's gonna be pretty worthless here oh man look at this sell this to disable the current boss blind <laughs> you can make some usage out of that all right so we did spike the hanged man off of our hallucination otherwise i think we want the malt, right? We want to malt up these kings. So let's take these two bad cards out of our deck. We aren't really struggling to hit on chips, right? We're pretty much getting 150 chips out of the face every single time. But um, I would like to give up on... Uh, or I think it's just the, the malt is a little more important than picking up the chips at this point. Especially since we're playing all of these 10-point kings and stuff.
right, kings. Let's see what we can do. There they all are. I have to I have to come like after the round and just see how many king of diamonds we actually have in our deck. Probably not even 5. <laughs> Probably not even 5. Like I don't know if we should even be shooting for that at this point. Good stuff. What do we got? Let's let's check it out real quick. So we got 16 kings. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six king of diamonds. That's pretty hard to pull off. So what do we have here? Two chips for every dollar. That's not bad. Convert to clubs. Don't want tarot cards. Turn up. It's fine. Let's crack this Arcana pack first. Uh oh. We did hit the Hierophant uh, off of our hallucination, but this is going to be a Wheel of Fortune. I don't want the tower. I don't want the other stuff. Of course we miss. Of course. Literally every time. <laughs> oh, we hit one up here as well. Convert to hearts we don't want. I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Another five of a kind thing. Very important for us to be able to, I think, to upgrade the five of a kind, right? We need to win in one hand. Right, if we're shooting for the five of a kind and we aren't kind of fucking around, we usually need to discard two or three times before we get to it. And so, if we have to play two five of a kinds, it's kind of tough to do. It's very easy to play one five of a kind and then like a full house, but uh, I want to be a little bit cautious in that sense. Let's do this. We'll go ahead and get rid of the supernova. I'm not certain if the bull is something we'll hold on to the entirety of the run, right? We're not really struggling in terms of chips at this point, but. See how that goes. Well, this looks like a very skippable run, though. Double your money and the 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 foil tag. Sure. The boss is at 40k, though. Uh, why did we get two foil tags? Thought we hit. Hmm. I don't know what happened there. But no, it feels like our last five of a kind was only like 20k. So I, I do want to be at least a touch cautious in terms of. Um, Just, just over skipping right to the end. All right, so here's the first one. We have the bonus card thing in hand, but only one king to upgrade. So we'll, we'll wait till the next hand. All right. What do we hit there? Barely got past it in one hand. 40k and 700 chips. Yeah, need to need to upgrade a little bit. It's just very scary, like having to hit that big hand twice, right? I, we could have like had two more discards and then just played a hand for funsies and stuff, but I don't think that's quite where we want to be. Now, what is this? When the blind is selected, gain malt and then destroy the Joker. This is a good Joker. <laughs> I, I just worry about like the amount of build around and, and stuff that we've kind of tied into the, the legendary. I think I'm actually going to skip over that one. Um, it's not something I typically do, but I, I feel like we really need to be hitting these five of a kinds and uh, it, it can be a you know, definite miss. Uh, it, like kind of depending on the boss round. And so we'll, we'll make sure we don't lose the uh, the good blind thing. Otherwise, we did spike uh, hearts tarot card. Don't want. Just take a uh, straight flush whenever playing that. I thought that was flush. Full house should be the next upgrade, I think. Maybe we should have just done three of a kind. It's very easy to kind of hit three of a kind, but maybe not have a card left over. But we had a second foil tag. What does that hit? X4 if the hand contains four of a kind. Okay. Okay, I'm on board. So let's go ahead and just get rid of the misprint. We still have a few more rounds of a hallucination. We'll get rid of the hallucination, don't worry. Um, but let's just take it as it goes. Steel Ace is interesting. Uh, I'm the 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 steel cards are always good, and it's you know kind of good with what we're doing in the sense that like if you're 
you know, playing a pair and you haven't upgraded it, the steel card takes the malt from two to three. And that's not particularly exciting, right? With the way that the um, the the cards work themselves, right? You, it plays the stuff out of your hand, your physical, like, played hand first. And then it comes back to the cards that you're holding. And so it's typically not a ton of bonus that gets applied into those steel cards if you're playing small cards. But with our five of a kind, holding on a steel card gives that additional nine malt, which is then going to get one and a half up top and then like X forward. And so I think it might be worthwhile to take. I don't know. It does make it more challenging for us to hit four of a kinds, but... Hmm. Interesting. And then again, I always like to call this out. The, the cards like the family don't require you to play a physical four of a kind. If you play a five of a kind, that also contains a four of a kind within it. And so um, we can still play towards that big hand and get the bonus off of the family. All right, so I'm just, I'm definitely just, I'm just going to quit giving up on flushes and just play towards these big king hands. Here's our five of a kind. I'm pretty certain that we'll just finish off the round at this point, so... Let's just discard, see if we... Say, we'll see if we can't hit the flush. It's not going to come. Okay, what'd that get? A 75k? Nice little upgrade. Nice little upgrade. We have a, a very like chip heavy hand chip heavy joker set as well so maybe we'll find the point to uh to to upgrade on the uh malt what do we got we hit the world for spade conversion don't want that otherwise what do we have death convert left to right wild card don't want and random joker let's turn this nine into our good king We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm kind of intending on selling the bull as well. Like, I, I'm not trying to just completely be all willy-nilly with our money here. I understand that we have the bull in hand, but I do intend on selling it. I plan on selling the, the bull and the hallucination, so... I, I don't think we need to just hold money forever for that. All right, next round. What do we got? Find some more kings. All right. Here they come. Playing all these five kings reminds me. I, I saw a, an image on Reddit yesterday of the people that were in the office that have since died, and it, it's kind of a bummer to see that. Like, I don't know. The The Office is one of those shows to where I, I, I don't know. I guess it came out in like the mid 2000s, or I guess more towards the tail end of the 2000s. It came out when I was in college, and so that would have been mid to tail end of 2000s, and. Um, you know, if you were like 60, then there's a there's a good chance you've kind of breached the average age of the human lifespan. But one of the things on there was like, there's always that episode with the five families. One of my my favorite uh, comedic moments. It's like comedy gold in terms of like how to construct a good joke. Uh, was one of the five families, right? That's the the people that are the managers within the Dunder Mifflin Park. So there was Michael Scott and Bob Vance, and then. Uh, the other three guys, I don't quite remember their names, but there was the guy in the wheelchair and, and Michael Scott brings him in to talk about people being disabled or something and how you can still function in life with a disability. And, and the joke that Michael brings is like he asked the guy in the wheelchair how long it takes him to brush his teeth in the morning. And the guy's like, I don't know, like 30 seconds. And Michael's like, see, see, he's disabled. That takes three times three times as long as it takes me to brush my teeth and it's just so well done it's so well constructed to where uh michael's trying to to make the joke about disability but the joke is actually on himself and that was one of the guys on the list <laughs> and, and so i feel like there was the other one that, that didn't get much uh much talking time in the in the five families episode but 
kind of a it's kind of a, a bummer to see that pop up. But nonetheless, what do we have here? Ooh, the Invisible Joker. We'll be able to pop off with the Invisible Joker and then copy the family, right? And so I feel like we're going to be good here with our, uh, our our five families deck, if you will, with the Invisible Joker copying the, the family. It doesn't copy the foil. It only copies the physical Joker itself. But I think that that's going to, to do quite a bit. So let's do this. I'm planning on selling off the Hallucination this round. So let's go ahead open up any of these packs that we want. I don't think we need to do the buffoon pack, but we'll open up this one just to see if we get a tarot. We did not. So now we can sell the hallucination, pick up the invisible. We will need to make sure we play enough rounds to actually activate this thing. Um, and then let's pick up the discards as well. Okay. Start with zero discards. That would have been uh, <laughs> that, that would have been perfect timing if um, we we didn't have the the boss canceller. All right, so we get a tarot card off of the discard there. Let's convert to hearts. We'll just go ahead and sell it. Let's let's not get too crazy here. Let's make sure we actually hit our five of a kind before we start over discarding. Oh, look at that. We got we got four in here. All right, let's go for it this time. What do we have? 30 cards left in our deck. What do we have? Do we have seven of these? So there should still be three in there. Let's see, let's see if we can't get it uh, before it's all said and done here. We get a couple of kind of free hands that we can play along the way. So what do we got? We hit the king. I'm just gonna hold on to that. I <laughs> I don't want to go completely crazy in terms of just skipping through the round. Uh, we'll we'll play the five of a kind here and, and just stop. But we'll give ourselves a little bit of a chance for that that king of diamonds to turn up. It didn't. That's okay though. And I'm pretty certain we'll get out of here. We did sell the hallucination. It was only worth 50 chips, and so. I don't think we're at risk of missing this 70k. We hit 70k a hand ago, uh, but now we have the steel card in this hand as well. Yeah, we get up to 112. Not bad. Okay, so what do we got here? Plus 12 flat malt. I do want more than the bull. Uh, I think we could go ahead and sell that. So let's get the bull out of here. And not too concerned about money. I guess we can still buy the blank ones. I, I know I have unlocked the one blank. I'm not certain if you can get additional cards off of the blanks. If, like, I don't know why it would keep showing up if uh, if it wasn't a possibility, but... Who knows? We'll take the five of a kind, though. See what turns up in the other celestial pack. Planet X for another five of a kind. Sure thing. All right. Next round. So, yeah, we're going to play through all of these, right? We need uh, to play through two so that we can get the, the duplicate Joker. So we won't be doing any skipping here. Go ahead and drop those kings. Maybe maybe a decent tarot card will come up, come up that'll help us get some more of those king of diamonds. But good stuff. Oh, hang on, shit. I I. I I mean, I guess it'll be okay. You don't get to pick the Joker, though. I'm kind of glad that we stopped and looked at that. <laughs> kind of glad. It's uh, sell it to duplicate a random Joker. Uh, that's not nearly as exciting. Maybe we'll still hit the big one. Get the get the big family going. But I guess it was good to good to see that pop up. All right. Whoa! Look at that hand. 
It is possible to get no kings, no face cards out here. All right, let's give it. Let's give it another go. Got two discards left. I'll, I'll just take the the big safety net. I'll hang on to the five kings as we discard here. All right, out of discards now. Continuing to improve, though. I mean, we uh, we upgraded the the five of a kind two more times with the celestials there. Got to be over like 200k now, right? 156. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. I can tell you now this is gonna be bullshit. We got <laughs> we got a 25% chance because if we hit the the boss blind thing there's no reason to have two of it if we hit the tarot card thing i don't want it uh, ah we did it <laughs> yes <laughs> hey and it copied the it copied the foil as well fucking nice <laughs> that's how you do it that's how you do it i was so ready to be salty <laughs> good stuff all right so we'll use the full copies the uh the, the five of a kind planet. Good stuff there. Why not celestial pack? Another five of a kind. All right, good stuff, good stuff. They might as well just roll the rest of this money, right? It's not like we're going to uh, spend it somewhere. Joker don't want, face card thing don't want, random jokers, no. Last one, maybe. I don't even know what trance does. Oh, we're short of the fool. I guess we could sell the bonus card thing. Pick up the fool. Get ourselves up to what is this? Five of a kind, level eight. Or level nine. 400 by 36. All right. Flip and shuffle jokers. Not today. Well, I guess it did flip and shuffle, but not important. All right, let's find those kings. What is judgment? Create a joker. Don't want it. Maybe this will be the one. This will be the time that we find all of the kings that we need. What do we got? Three discards? We'll, we'll try it just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, we got five kings in hand. See if a diamond one turns up. Not quite enough. I'm not going to risk it. All right, so I think that'll do it. I think that'll get us. We got the 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 big score rolling in, right, with the double family. It's got to be huge. Let's see. Cool Millie. That's what we needed, a cool little melee to finish it off. And so, not a bad run. I think that's interesting since the, the kind of core strategy these days, at least once you've kind of gotten... The, the, the level one strategy is just make a bunch of flushes, right? And then you, you get kind of to a spot to where that just doesn't work anymore. And we, we saw why flushes don't typically work throughout the course of this run, right? We do a bunch of discarding. We play five of a kind. If the five of a kind doesn't win then we really struggle to make another five of a kind, right? So it's like, okay, well, maybe I'll play a three of a kind, maybe I'll play a two pair, and then if that's not enough to catch up, then you just ultimately lose. And that's where the flush strategy kind of falls apart. So it's like you discard two or three times, you play a flush. Now you didn't quite have enough points to finish off the round, you play your one discard, you play a kind of fake pseudo hand as a discard, and then you miss your flush and you lose the run. And so you really have to be kind of honed in on getting that one hand to be enough to finish off the round uh, or otherwise you have those opportunities to lose but you know with the way that this hand came together with the disabling of the boss blinds and then uh landing on the um the spectral card that gives you everything within the same suit it definitely puts us aligned in a spot to where we can maybe pop off with say full houses right we can do a lot with say focusing on three of a kind at worst and then being in that space of i'm focusing on three of a kind or focusing on full house and then if that doesn't or if that you know really comes together you can focus in on the five of a kind and that's what we were able to do here is really focus in on that five of the kind and i think that's pretty much the only hand we played over the course of the past uh like nine or ten rounds and so 
I, I think that we did a, you know, a reasonable job of transitioning into that to where we kind of recognized in the mid game, we we're getting a pretty good shot at these four of a kinds, but we had a little bit of fallback to the diamond flushes. And then once we got our deck kind of aligned to where we were having no trouble re-rolling into the, the five kings, we just popped off from there and really honed in on it. But I think a lot of the good stuff that we got to see with this run is how we kind of managed and maintained the jokers in the sense that we're looking at the jokers and saying, oh yeah, these are the ones that are good kind of like mid-game build around kind of things, right? The things like the hallucination generating tarot cards. And then we did make that distinction. And I think like anti number five going into six, we're like, okay, we really have two good jokers right now, right? We have two end game jokers. We have the face and we have the disable the boss blind thing. Uh, we really need to come in and get an X malt and we need to come in and get some flat malt, right? We were just too chip heavy and too short on the, on the malt. And uh, we converted that nicely, right? We picked up the bad flat malt thing here in the tarot card and then we have the more bonus malt with the uh with the high roll into the second family and so uh, i think that was all around a pretty good run i think we navigated that one well had a lot of fun along the way good stuff and so i had fun with that i hope you did too because that is going to do it for us today so hope everyone enjoyed the video hope you maybe learned a thing or two along the way had a good time watching this is busting me thank you for being here